What's up, Virgo? This is Soul here. And Virgo, we're going to look at some energies here for you uh, in the month of January 2024 regarding love and relationships. First and foremost, Happy New Year's to all the Virgos out there. And yeah, let's see what the energies are going to be for Virgo. Let's get this camera adjusted here. All right, let's see. All right, so uh, Virgo, you know, I use the Victorian Romantic Tarot to deliver your messages here. Double energies. If you receive any of the two, it's, of course, double the energy, right? Complimenting your reading here, Virgo, with the um, Romance Angels Oracle um, deck and also Messages of Love Oracle deck. Not reading any uh, reversals here, so um, let's give it a good shuffle. And we're going to focus on Virgo's energies. Not going to be uh, incorporating any other energies or aspects of your life. Just focusing on relationships, Virgo, in the month of January 2024, right? So this is for Virgo singles, couples, sun, moon, and rising signs. Also Venus. I always uh, seem to forget Venus. You can include Venus for you guys who follow, follow your Venus um, energy, right? All right, so what's coming up for Virgo when it comes to relationships in the month of January 2024, the beginning of the new year? Energies for Virgo. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, here we go, Virgo. We're going to start off with the Seven of Cups. All right, so the Seven of Cups is actually pretty good because we're talking about relationships, right? This is the card where I always say that, you know, uh, there's an expectation of someone going deeper in terms of their feelings or expressions or emotions towards you, or you could be doing that to them. Uh, specifically for the singles out there, the Seven of Cups represents options. Also, too, what's attached to the Seven of Cups is intuition. So do pay attention to your intuition regarding your relationships in the month of January 2024. All right. And this also, too, could be the incorporation of new partnerships the seven of cups along with the nine of cups ten of cups ace of cups page of cups is always that emotional happiness satisfaction and fulfillment and contentment uh based on the relationships or the connections that you have with current relationships or the potential of connecting with uh romantic uh yeah romantic uh, relationships specifically Following the Seven of Cups here, now we have the Hangman when it comes to decisions, all right, and actions when it comes to your relationships in the month of January 2024, Virgo. Hangman is just here to remind you that you have all the time to take in the world, to think over matters, whatever it is that you need to do, you don't need to rush through it. Following the Major Arcana and the Hangman, now we have the Ten of Wands, so this is just energy. So some of you want to be uh, busy. It re uh, mirrors over here to the Seven of Cups, so some of you... Uh, Virgos who may be single may be putting your energy more out there in the month of January, trying to make new connections, or it could be for those Virgos who are already in established relationships. And then you're just doing stuff together, you know, having the energy to, you know, do whatever is necessary for you to do. Following the Ten of Wands, now we have the Devil, okay? One of the two Devils in this deck, and this is the card that always represents bad habits, toxic relationships, feeling you know, restricted or bound. Uh, in this particular case, since we're only focusing on love and relationships, then someone is obsessing, uh, could be obsessing over you. You could be obsessing over them. Some of you may be feeling like you're addicted to a relationship or a person. Well, you want to break the chains and the bonds of the devil's restriction because he always casts an illusion, always making you feel that any situation that you are dealing with is real to you and it really isn't and the people that you're dealing with also are showing you who they are and you're just not believing it this energy here is also too about unrequited love definitely addiction so it may not be your addictions but it could be the addictions of your partner or your potential um romantic partner and it's affecting or impacting some sort of uh energy between you okay so you want to dispel and break the energies of this devil following the um devil major arcana we have the here's the ace of cups well damn okay ace of cups is here mirrors over here to the seven of cups just like i said going deeper in terms of feelings and um emotional energy towards you or you're outpouring that energy towards someone that you are already connected. This is a deeper aspect of feelings, love, 
All right. Now, the only thing that we need here uh, is the moon here to strengthen this damn, uh, this energy here, but we don't really need the moon. So this is also to pregnancy news, childbirth, new relationships can be formed with the uh, aspect of the Ace of Cups. Following the Ace of Cups here, now we, oh, now you got the lovers. Damn. Okay, so when the lovers is in your spread, there is no worry or no need about the relationships that you are going to, um, you know, anything specific that you're going to uh, endure or encounter in the month of January. This is a card that represents um, spending quality time, unions, uh, bonding, um, definitely because of the wedding gear that they seem to have on here in this picture. Someone could be getting married in the month of January. All right, so relationships look pretty good here for you, Virgo. It's underneath the Seven of Cups. Again, options. Wow, let's continue with this good energy here for you. Up next is the Five of Pentacles. This is the ghosting card. So you could be ghosting uh, someone still, someone ghosting you, feeling um, stubborn. That could be your own energy, Virgo. That could be someone else's energy. Feeling left out in the cold, giving the cold shoulder treatment. However, if the Five of Pentacles does express itself in the month of January, just note that it's temporary energy. Next, we have the Strength card. Mm. Major Arcana, the Strength card. Please pay attention to all the Major Arcanas that are showing up in your spread. So far, you got one, two, three, four, four powerful Major Arcanas here. The Strength card is um, here uh, to, you know, overcome any obstacles or challenges uh, when it comes to your relationships. This card is... a uh, uh, regarded as a great deal of intensity, great deal of passion, definitely sexual energy and sexual expression. Now, because of the uh, strength card that represents Leo the Lion, some of you may be dealing with fire signs or in relationships with fire signs. Following the strength card could be a um, new connection, though, for single Virgos who may be interested in fire signs or fire signs interested in Virgo. And Virgo, the next card, you can't make this shit up, okay? I said, if you get the moon, here's the moon, all right? The moon is now here. So then again, we got triple the energy of expression. Likes and crushes may come through because I always say the moon is always revealing things. Things are no longer going to be hidden, and definitely you uh, want to pay attention to your intuition, you know, regarding relationships because the moon is here to help you. Also, because we have all of the emphasis of the uh, seven of cups, the ace of cups and the moon, which is water and emotions. The moon specifically can be tricky. So you want to balance your emotional state uh, as much as you possibly can. For some, it could have some sort of influence here with the devil over top because this too is a major arcana, but the devil is over top of this moon. So whatever was once hidden from you regarding any devil's aspect, that energy comes to the light. All right. You will find out if your partner uh, secretly has been just say, you know, drinking or gambling or um, could be cheating. It's revealed to you in the month of January. Hopefully that's not the case, but that's just some scenarios I wanted to throw out there. So we want to try to balance our emotional state out as much as we possibly can. Always want to stay uh, in the middle, okay? Trusting yourself, someone with the aspect of the moon here being present is falling in love or they are in love with you or you could be in love with them or falling in love with them. Wow. There is a cycle still of energy that's going to be phasing out for you, Virgo. A new cycle is generated with the moon. Final card is the, oh, you got the Major Arcana, the Justice card. Well, again, it mirrors over here to the lover. So someone could be getting married in front of the uh, Justice, right? Justice of the Peace. This card represents peace, liberty, love, okay, independence. All the red here, the red fiery hair, the fire, the cape could be an indication, again, that some of you are in partnerships with uh, fire signs or have the potential of connecting with um, fire signs in the future. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be fire signs. It could be any, any, um, you know, any zodiac sign. But I'm seeing here with the strength card because the strength card does mirror over here to the justice card. And look at this. This bottom row here with your own energies here 
we have the lovers, the strength card, the moon, and the justice. So again, pay, pay attention to these major arcanas. Very powerful month here in January 2024. Wow, for Virgo. Looks pretty good. Socializing is up next, Four of Cups, okay? Putting your energy out there, just, you know, enjoying quality time again. Even number of cups, what you give is what you're going to get back. Now, some of you may be single, and of course, you know, this is going into the new year, but you still could be invited out by uh, friends, family members. And if you're single, you could be just, you know, um, linking up with somebody who could be uh, some sort of romantic catch, all right, or an interest here. So, um, when the Four of Cups is present, if there's invitations, uh, don't turn any invitations down. Just go out and do it. Just accept the invitations and you never know what's going to happen. Two of Wands follows that Four of uh, uh, Cups here. And it just simply means you're waiting for something. Or in this case, you're waiting for someone to arrive. Again, it's fire sign energy. So <laughs> some of you may be experiencing some sort of uh, slowness or stagnation involving a relationship. The Two of Wands is my only timing card. So whoever it is that you're waiting for. I always say two days and two week period of time, you should hear something from them. The last card I have for you is the Queen of Pentacles here. And the Queen of Pentacles is a court card. So it could be an engagement where it's your own energy. So it could be that you're looking towards, um, you know, building up some sort of st uh, stability or security within a relationship. Or, you know, the energies could just be expressing how um, you are and you're considered stable, you know, um, dependent, reliable, uh, you're structured, you're not stingy, you don't come across as being stingy or selfish, willing to share any accumulation of wealth, specifically. Um, again, this could be someone else that comes along here um, and, you know, you can connect in a business, not a business partnership, I said I wasn't talking about that. You can connect in a romantic partnership, and this person is already doing very well for themselves. All right, so Virgo, this looks damn good for you guys in the month of January 2024. What a way to start off the new year. Now, again, this is just me interpreting the cards. You know what to do. Take what's going to work for you and leave the rest alone. But I'm looking at the four corners here, Virgo. Look at that. You got the Seven of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups. You got... The Justice card, and then you have the Lovers. Wow. Okay, looking damn good. And don't forget the Strength card here. Any challenges or obstacles that you may endure or face regarding relationships, you will be strong, courageous, and powerful and uh, overcome those obstacles and challenges. Hopefully there's none. But anyway, the first card here for you, is trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Next card up for you, Virgo, is unrequited love. That's the devil. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Third card here for you is very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And the shadow energy here for you is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And uh, rightfully so. With the Ace of Cups, you got the Seven of Cups, the Lovers. Yes. Expressing yourself. Let these people know in the moon. Let these people know how you feel about them. Because, you know, it may be very significant. All right. So, other messages here for you, Virgo. I had to talk, uh, take a little stop there because I'm <laughs> looking at all of the beautiful energies here. It's like, Wow. And, you know, I always keep my fingers crossed when I do these readings for the best possible uh, energies to open up for you. Anyway, this uh, energy here could be related to uh, how your person feels about you or vice versa. This one says reciprocity. I want to have equal give and take. All right. That's important in a relationship. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Hmm. Third card is broken. I feel shattered about this situation. Again, this could be um, the devil's influence. And, you know, I said in another video, too, that, um, you know, you guys can take this energy however you want. But if these cards here, the uh, shadow cards, the uh, complimenting, complimentary romance oracle cards or the message love oracle cards, 
resonate with you, then use that. Okay. And you may not have to use the uh, general reading here. So, but whatever works for you. Energy in the shadow says uh, conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. All right. Get that person a call. <clears throat> All right. So Virgo, this is what I had. And it's really, really looking good here. Again, uh, just me interpreting the cards. Please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Be safe in the month of January. Happy New Year's to all of you. Um, may the New Year bring in all the um, blessings that you are wanting into your life. Keep smiling for me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.